in depth, but I read the basic couple of basic world religion books and uh -huh. those type of things. Uh, but, yeah. But they just didn't have the grasp that Christianity had for you. Yeah, I think by nature, because I was in a suburb of uh, northern Colorado, uh -huh. the church Christianity was more of the predominant faith you know, right. of that town. So there was more immediate interest to explore Christianity at a deeper level, simply because I was surrounded by so much. Christian presence, mm -hmm. and uh, though I did, as I said, I did read other worlds, world religion books, and kind of got an overview of where, what's the origins of these, what mm -hmm. are their sacred writings, where do they come from, what pockets of the world are, are they most predominant, and what cultures do they produce, uh -huh. and things like that. But it was Christianity that I focused on because of my uh, being in a suburban town where the church was so predominant. Mm -hmm. So, what did you discover the roots of Christianity were? I, well, I, I initially looked at what's the, uh, where did the Bible come from? Mm -hmm. Because Christians get a lot of, all their information, you know, so whatever they believe isn't just out of, out of the air. It's from, sure. like, from, from Scripture, from the Bible. So, and then you had, you know, say the town I was in at the time going to college, you had, you know, Baptist church, you might have had this church. I didn't understand any of that terminology. Mm -hmm. of what the denominations were, but then I'm like, well, they all read the same book, so I started looking at where did this thing come from, and, you know, and it was looking at some classical apologetics books, to mm -hmm. use those, that, those terms of, of uh, how was it written, what time periods was it written in that they understand, how is it compiled, you know, what, um, who determined what was sacred writings in the Bible and who wasn't, and the more I began reading that and reading uh, stories and scholars, uh, mm -hmm. not just Christian scholars, I was yeah. reading secular, to use that word, book, uh, I'm sorry, I used that term, mm -hmm. and just became more and more confident of that, the way the Bible is put together. It's not just irrational or total faith only. You know, there's um, a blind faith. I could say you could have some intelligent faith of why you can trust and it's compilation and, and, and when you're referring to that, you're referring to the Old Testament as well as the New Testament? Yeah, absolutely, totally. 